welcome to 10 minutes with James Beck yeah. it's that time again where we ask James Beck how his life's going and <laughs> his views on current you're affairs you, in the you, UK you're making me sound a bit like an animal like a bit thick and I'm not thick I know you're not thick Jim. yeah you're only on here for your on. for your insight into politics right go on what's the final of these questions though all right, James. Uh, there's been a lot going on in Syria this week. Uh, what do you make of the conflict there? I thought you meant the football one, but it's the Serbia. Isn't it? Syria, like, I don't know what has happened there. The worst half. There's a uh, there's a civil war breaking out. What would you? Oh, what would you do? Now, no, what would you do if in that situation? What, a civil war. If there was civil war. What here? Well, oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Well, what could we do? We're we're not we're. If you were if you were in a situation of power and someone said to you, look, James, there's a civil war on the verge of breakout, what would you tell them? Get, <laughs> get well, you have to get your armies recruited, don't you? And get it sorted. You have to. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's our question, is that to go on, Matt? Uh, You'd have to get the soldiers. I oh can't. You're making me sound fake. No, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I know it's a tough question to yeah. put you on the spot with. Yeah, go on. Well, do you want to think about that one and come back next week with it then? Why next week? Why? Well, is this well you said you want to think about it. Has this been a weekly thing? Well, we'll see how well it goes down with the public. I mean, might just be a one off. Yeah. Oh, but you've got to get your army sorted, haven't you? There's a civil war going on. I don't know you have to. Right, just get women involved as well. Like How would you get women in World War Two? They can make guns and stuff, don't they? Well, what the civil? Do you know that's a bit backward, Jim? Oh yeah, it's a bit sexist. I'm sorry. I'm not Andy Gray. Well, no, they can join. You're fight. certainly not Andy Gray. No, they can fight as well. But like, where's the civil war? Like, All right, right, James. Well, uh, have you been been watching any of the American presidential election race? Not really. Who do you want to Obama. be the next president? Obama. Just Obama. Yeah. Do you like Obama? I do. Yeah. Good looking lad. Good looking lad. What do you like about him the most? He's just a cool man, isn't he? He knows what he's doing. And he's better than George Bush. He's going to think. And didn't know what we were doing. Mm hmm. Um, right, let's move on to sport. What's been your views on sport this week? What's the stories uh, that The around? one that struck me most is the, the Serbia thing. The fighting and the race, racial abuse. The Danny Rose suffered from... Uh, yeah, we were discussing this. We've Tom. discussed racism in football before, haven't we, Jim? What, what? Well, I remember you telling me that if a banana was thrown at you as a black player, you would uh, <laughs> pick up and eat the banana <laughs> in an angry fashion. Yeah, I would. It would prove a point. It would like, stop throwing them, wouldn't it, at the end of the day, though? If, you, if, you've, if they threw a banana at you and you picked up and ate it, they won't throw any more, would they? Because you're just wasting the money. And you, you're proving, like... It's... It, I wouldn't. I, it, it, it pissed me off more than like we like, like retaliating, wouldn't it? So we just pick it up and eat it. Yeah. No default being racist. Well, I suppose so. Do you not think that eating the banana sort of defeats the point of? Well, everyone eats I mean, bananas. I know they're implying that the monkeys, but they they the normal people at the end of the day. So if they eat the banana. They're just acting as a normal person would. What else do you do with banana? They're not made to be thrown. My phone thing. Well, carry on. Right, well, uh, Leeds are playing tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, yeah. At Hillsborough. What are you hoping for from there? Uh, be a draw, but I'm hoping for 2 1 win. Doof, gonna score. We're wearing, we're wearing bright yellow socks as well. Which, no, luminous socks. Which I never thought Leeds would be wearing, to be honest. But, yeah, be Hard game. Is this the first game they played in the Luma socks? Yeah, with a black kit. But yeah. So you're uh, hoping for a big start then? Yeah, you've got a few followers on Twitter now. Nathan Orr's followed you. Big fan of Nathan Orr. Go on, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Nathan Orr followed me. Who else has followed good me? Look, good looking lad. Jerry Roberts. Who else? Brad Paul. Uh, the famous radio person, Rick Perchy. Michael Henson. Yeah, they're all in that radio. What do you make of the uh, Carl Abbott game that you attended oh. in the week for us, James? Yeah, I thought we'd like them doing that, to be honest. But 
Uh, yeah, when we got approached by them lads. Yeah, we got approached by them last, la last, last lads. Six notifications. <laughs> we got approached by them lads, and uh, I thought like they were going to kick off. Alright James, can we get back to more pressing matters? We're here um, having sweet. a fling with two girls I'm at the same time. <laughs> You're making me sound to be out of nobbed now, and I'm not, and I'm not having the fling. I'm just general talk. What about Santi? No, I've got to get her up on Facebook no, again. I've seen it. I haven't seen it, I haven't met her. No. Where? Oh, right. She's got a bit of an orange face, do you not think? Yeah. It's all tan. What? Is it all tan? I don't know. Well, I was hearing reports that she's from Manchester. From, uh, Manchester yeah. Got a lot of fun in Manchester, have not they? Mm. Uh, what about the girl that you got with that then had a panic oh, attack? I'd say. Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm not answering that. Come on, James. Just listeners wanting to know your thoughts. They're not listeners, though, are they? They're they don't put it on the Sports Journal website, they're listening. No, it's gone on YouTube. You don't put it on YouTube. It's gone on YouTube. <laughs> put it on YouTube. It's the only way we can broadcast it. Oh, for God's sake. It's not going on YouTube. I don't think you have a choice in the matter, really, James. Well, what, what's interesting about this one you're going to put on YouTube? Well, let's see if people enjoy listening to 10 Minutes with James Bay. Ryan, have you got any pressing questions you'd ask today? I'd like hey. to ask James. Well, uh, what did you think of the uh, Insidious film last night, James? Oh, yeah, that. Did you uh, yeah, just yeah. tell us about the night after after you watched this horror film? Oh. What did you do? Well, I went home and I couldn't sleep. Then How come? Why? Because it got me thinking about them, like, demon thing. And um, the eating kept going off in Martindale. And do you think that could have been a demon? No. Not real, but it's just a thought, isn't it? Like demons are linked with ghosts and that, and I believe in ghosts. So you believe in deep? You believe in demons, then? Not demons, ghosts. They're the same sort of. No, they're not. Demons are like demons. Demons are like they remind me of gargoyles. Do you think are a demon? And gar <laughs> gargoyles are worse. No, no. Ghosts just like like uh, <coughs> we asked for ghosts like remind me like a Casper. So we asked them for no because no <laughs> no <laughs> ghosts like you can't have friendly ghosts because they have them but there's some people that like they see ghosts of like the family they've got it's my fault like they see but the family's died and they see it's like you can have protective ghosts whereas demons they possess you and kill you so it got me thinking like. I wonder if anyone's ever got possessed before. And like you see, like the exorcism, exorcism film, exorcist films, are like oh, yeah. based on the true story. So, and like, like, like some ghosts could possess you, I suppose. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What? So, what would you give the film out of five stars? Three. From what I saw. Down the pillar. But it made you think. You're busy yeah. texting those two birds, weren't you, James? What two birds? The the one that had a panic attack and the one that like Francis for two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, James. Th is it is it not true that Santi likes to put away? I don't his, know. I've never met the one. Equivalent of two fry ups <laughs> as a warm up for tea. If anybody is this, I'm sorry because these numbers are making sound like right numbers. James, we get all our information from you. I never said anything. He, said it all he, he added it on Facebook and started talking to her, didn't he? Yeah, that's just to see what you're doing. <laughs> James, you no. proclaimed to us on the bus on the tram back that you were about to shag it, but you I couldn't be. Asked, but you couldn't be asked. No, I did not. You did, James. What the fuck? We're not even on the phone. Have you got an answer to Syria yet or not? What do you think of the civil war? There must have some, like, there's people dying, James. Yeah, no, what? I don't know. I don't understand that. Innocent what? women and children are being shot by the government. Like, do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? I don't agree with like, violence. Well, right, how would you know. stop it then? Just if violence isn't it. the answer, what is, James? What? Just if violence isn't the answer, what would you do? What would they negotiate? Stop, like, <coughs> Stopping the war. <coughs> 
Like, you don't have a fight with someone without, like, negotiating. So, instead of, like, you don't go straight into a fight, do you? Oh, I'm knitting. Just, just looks a knob. You negotiate. That's but how most fights, mm. fight, fights start changing. <laughs> no, but, no, fights start to be arguing. You don't negotiate a fight, do you? But you've just said you do negotiate a no, fight. No, I mean, you're going back on your word now, mate. No, yeah. You negotiate to sort a problem. We often for. So instead of fighting, negotiate about it. Don't kill people. No, quite is it. James Felix Bargamalta jumped uh, 143,000 oh, yeah, feet yeah, yeah. from space earlier in the week. Yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. What did you make of that? Could you see yourself doing that kind of thing? <laughs> Oh, if I got the opportunity, then it's what you'd take up, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you would, though. If, <laughs> if someone went up to you and went, oh, we got an opportunity to jump out of a balloon, which is 20, what it, 25,000 feet. 105,000 feet. <laughs> yeah, 140. You can move, well, you could die, but it's just once in a lifetime, isn't it? You've got to take it. I suppose so, Jim. I mean, it did look a bit scary to be honest. They didn't know, he didn't know where we were going to land, did he? So no, he but it was pretty well controlled by the yeah, by NASA. So he, he could have landed up anywhere. Landed up, landed, ended up anywhere. Could have ended up in Chesterfield. Oh yeah, no one would have been there to see. So me, we you, not And what are your plans for the night, James? Just before we cut. Trying to get off. better because I feel ill. Little... And what are you? Are you not taking cowpo for that now? <laughs> You know I can't say this word, so why oh, now I'm gonna have some ibu ibuprofen when I go. Say that again, please. <laughs> ibu ibuprofen. Painkillers. Painkillers. <laughs> that's a painkiller. So I got a lot fresher one. Right, all right, James. Right, right. Well, well, we'll let you get off. Oh god. Yeah, all it's right. been nice spending time with you. Uh, you look just made me sound a dick. No, I look, I look forward to hearing you using the Syria conflict next week. Well, I'll read up about it. All right, cheers, James. All right.